everyone welcome to Agile Learnings and in this video we are going to see how we can use and use check and uncheck activity in UA Automation Next activities and this is our part 3 of this uh, particular UA Automation Next activities package and if you haven't watched uh, the previous two videos just uh, go back to those two videos and watch them and later on come back to this particular uh, video here so uh, what this check and uncheck activity do uh, it is usually when uh, in this video as well we are using the amazon website for this particular uh, video tutorial and uh, first we need to click on today's deals then we can see a list of uh, uh, check boxes of particular departments then we are going to click on this particular arts arts and crafts so this is what uh, we are going to achieve in this particular video by ua automation next activities and so uh, for the time constraints, I am using this uh, already. Uh, we have used this particular uh, flow in the previous video, so I am using this particular and then use some operations to achieve this particular task. So, uh, if before going to that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing for more videos. And if you like this video, please do the like. If you have any other doubts, please do mention them in the comment section below so that we can get uh, some reference over them. And first what i need to do is uh, this will open this particular uh, browser or the window and later on i need to click on this today's deals so i will drag a click activity here the ua automation next click activity and you can also see the properties uh, which are similar the common properties of the after before and delay display name and the timeout here input is a click type what, a, what, what is the click type it is a single or a double down or up we need to mention it and then the mouse button it is left or right or middle one and uh, the options here is input mode the same as app or browser are these any other kind of hardware events or the simulate ones and the key modifiers as well the key modifier is a, here is it is none so let me uh, indicate the target element here which is the today's deals it is the target element for me so it is capturing the selectors for this particular today's deals click so if I click on validate then it will show me the highlighted text where it is going to click and once I validate that click on confirm so now it is clicking on that particular today's deals now uh, our main activity comes here which is check on uh, check or uncheck activity so dra just drag and drop here uh, if we uh, go to these properties uh, we can see the delay after delay before these are the common properties and the action and what is the action here is whether we need to check it or we need to uncheck it or we need to toggle it so this is what uh, we are saying here so if i uh, give a delay of let me say a five seconds delay after uh, checking that checkbox because we can able to see that particular workflow uh, whether it is checking that particular uh, checkbox or not so let me click on today's deal so that I can indicate this particular element over there where it need to click just click on indicate the element here see this is the element and we also need here there are several checkboxes to click so we need to indicate the anchors there so this is the anchor for this particular target element so uh, we can also validate this so to, so to see whether we can able to uh, click there or not and we can we can click on confirm there so we are able to do that so here i will check checking this particular uh, tick box so so let me run this one before that i will close this particular browser and let me click on debug and we can see how are we going to achieve this particular task or not so it is opening the browser now what it need to do is it need to click on today's deals then it need to check that particular checkbox and it will wait for five seconds now it is uh, waiting for the click then it will click on today's deals after that it will click on the checkbox now it is clicking on today's deals it will wait for the element to appear and then it will click on it will check it is check the tick box so it is loading the department uh, products so you can clearly see here it is click check this checkbox and it is waiting for five seconds the delay that we are given by us 
so what if uh, you want to uncheck this particular checkbox which is already selected just click on uh, just change the property to uncheck and you don't know whether that particular tick box is always uh, be ticked uh, be checked or unchecked then probably you can use the toggle option there so let me end this one so uh, if you want to uncheck it then click on uncheck and if you want to toggle this one because you don't know whether it is checked or unchecked then click on toggle and this is how uh, you actually work with check or uncheck activity in your path automation next activities package and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more videos and thanks for watching